Tenag is not an Ineos employee technically. Literally everybody else, look at Wilcox, look at Brailsford, everybody else is employed by Ineos, except for Tenag. And you can't have a manager who is sort of separate from the rest of the club hierarchy who is running the, running the show, right? So I have never been this conflicted <laughs> just since I don't know when. Are you seriously still conflicted? Like, oh, yeah. no, enjoy the vibes. Good. <laughs> let yeah, it, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the problem is uh, we never got to see like what Ten Hag will keep saying, right? That if I had the players, maybe things could have been different. And if you see the last three games, he did get a few players back and we saw a clear uptick in the performance. So there's always going to be that question mark against, you know, what if this, what if that. But in the long run, yes, it's with the Ineos vision, it's, it makes much more sense to appoint a manager that fits exactly with the Ineos philosophy. I don't know who, maybe Kieran McKenna is the guy, maybe he's too young. We don't know that yet. But uh, we need a person who fits in the system that Ineos wants to put in place. And if Ten Hag wants to do that or not, that's up to him. If Ineos wants to employ Ten Hag right now, because Ten Hag is not an Ineos employee technically. Literally everybody else, look at Wilcox, look at Railsford, everybody else is employed by Ineos. Except for Ten Hag. And you can't have a manager who is sort of separate from the rest of the club hierarchy who is running the, running the show. Right? So, that's something that has to be decided upon. But yeah, let's just enjoy the day and not think too much. Yeah, yeah I'll take uh, passion football any day, bro. Any day over. Uh, but you know that, that 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 logic, right? You just said about like Tena gonna be like I'm not gonna. Uh, I don't have my players and like I only had them for a few matches and look that we won these matches. If you play a play high intensity type of football, you are gonna lose players. Like it's. Obvious. You're gonna go into next season. You're also gonna lose players. People, are, players are gonna be mm-hmm. prone to injury if you're gonna, you know, not a, uh, not have control o- over the football game. Like that's why Arsenal and City this season barely had injury. City had some, but Arsenal had a full eleven, like almost all the game because they, the style of play is like that. It's less, you know, in in use of to injuries. It's simple as that. If you're gonna play that high intensity, crazy football, it is gonna happen. You see, Pochettino, Chelsea. High intensity, his training sessions, everyone knows are crazy. Injuries, injury hit. And post o'clock loop. Training sessions, crazy. High intensity game. Off the ball, much. And injuries, injury ridden. So that's going to happen. <laughs> it's Even Liverpool. Liverpool is the biggest example over the last few years. The When they were successful, sure, they kept the team. I don't know what Klopp was doing, what kind of drugs he was feeding his players. But. Um, they were lucky then, but they they weren't that lucky over the last three seasons. Like the the style of play caught on with the players, so it's that that logic I don't think is is gonna play well with Ineos. And I think Ineos are smart. They they're smart. That that yeah. knows he's been through it. He's seen everything. He knows like this is not gonna work out. So he's taking a good decision for the future of Man United now. But it's a great ending, regardless. It will make everyone yeah. happy. Yeah. They'll be for some time, maybe like. Five ten days that you shouldn't have sacked someone. Same like Louis Van Gaal. Or would you have liked to keep Louis Van Gaal? You see where his career went after that. Dude, he was exactly the possession-based football that we we wanted. He did that shit at Barca, and people called it boring and shit. Yeah, but like he's, I mean, it was sort of different, right? Like just a little bit more like being yeah. played. Yeah, it, was it, was, it wasn't the same kind of direct. It was, yeah. yeah. It was it was a little it was more direct also. It was confusing, I would say. United, yeah. Louis Van Gaal, confusion ball. Um a little bit. Yeah. But you wouldn't have wanted him after that. The yeah. decision to sack him was good. The decision to appoint Mourinho was random, but it could have yeah, worked yeah. out. He was he was he, he was in the good spirits then. But that was the time he should have appointed Guardiola, by the way. Dude, if we didn't appoint Mourinho, we would have won exactly zilch European trophies. <laughs> In and if you would have, years. if you would have won, if you would have appointed Guardiola instead of Mourinho, would have had twenty-five titles by now, twenty-seven. Yeah, I think I don't, I don't think even Guardiola would have succeeded at this level. He has succeeded at City because of the structure and everything. It maybe like not way, you know, as is... much, maybe not as much, but success would have come. He's just too good a manager. To you can you can't say that. You can't say it wouldn't have come at all, right? Yeah. Say that. I'm... I mean, there are boys. There's Don Carlo. There's a bunch of boys of that caliber, like where you One. can get. I can. I mean, there are so <laughs> many. There are so many points you can say about Don Carlo that just defeats his purpose. Don Carlo can win with Real Madrid. Anyone can win with Real Madrid. Not anyone, but with that style of play with Real Madrid, you need the best players in the world. 
I mean, they Ivan, play football like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's just how they play. And also, Kajal week in week everything. out, they are not playing really high quality teams too. So that is sustainable for them because, dude, yeah, immediately after exactly. the Dortmund game, they like had like completely different eleven on the yeah. on the field, right? Like they can manage the workload better because of the league that they are in. But in the Premier League, I think I agree. Yeah, yes. I mean, why did Don Carlo finish tenth with Everton? Good, I mean. <laughs> Then, better than where they are now but yeah <laughs> okay but yeah sure. makes sense <laughs> dude for everton that that 10th was also too yeah. much like you get you get when there's brighton or brentford and west ham everton Hans. under him had a decent team bro he yeah. had ames yeah, he yeah. had like he, he had a good team everyone that he yeah. Yeah. he he yeah. he got everyone Andre he Gomez, wanted right? like yeah. Yeah. random yeah. people quest Side yeah, quest FC yeah. that. <laughs> no, honestly, <laughs> this this Everton is bankrupt. This Everton finishing where it finished makes sense, but and that I don't think tenth is a tenth is probably an underachievement for him, bro. With that squad, I'm sorry. Just too over us. <laughs> for Carlo, yeah. For the for the guy who's winning yeah. Champions League for fun, yes, it is an underachievement yeah. for sure. But right now, Real Madrid are in a space where they can they are they have all the best talents in the world, and they're going out to get yeah. Mbappe. Their their team is just unreal. So you can play whatever the hell you want. You can, in yeah. fact, transition based football is the best for them because they have such best, individual yeah. quality. They have so much yeah. individual. They don't need this possession style of football. They just need to sustain the attack, and then after in a counter, there are the best players in the world, and you can same with Mourinho's Real Madrid, right? Yeah. yeah, best in uh, yeah, best trident probably. Up Tena there. good at Real Madrid. Probably. If they get him, if they go and get him, not <laughs> happening, bro. I think he's going to buy. Sex selling Real Madrid is going to happen. <laughs> Dude, surely if you're buying, right, you're appointing a manager like Ten Hag over company. Like I see your counter argument about investing in a young coach. But when you're a club like Bayern, like the manager is just one piece in the whole system, right? Bayern's like a fucking machine, and. Uh, I don't know, dude. It could go either way. Like, dude, they I just lost like, the league to Leverkusen, and you're telling them to appoint Ten Hag. My God, this recency bias is crazy. <laughs> I don't know. Companies, yeah, that's how the world I'll, works. I'll, I'll, I'll let you have it today. Today, anything. <laughs> yeah. No, but no. In all, in all honesty, I think Ten Hag is a better manager till now than company. Like, company hasn't really done much. Yes, he has instilled a certain style of football at Burnley, mm. but they mm. did not really. They were not able to execute what he wanted. And yeah, Ten Hag also had a bad season, but he still has mm. something to show for in his resume, right? Sure. He's still sure. a much more high-profile manager than company. So, but Ten Hag has a ceiling on what kind of game style of play he's playing for the last two years, right? We company. He, they're investing in a young manager. We can never be if we need to wait for two years to see if the investment is right or wrong. It could company could be like yeah. the next big thing. Who knows? They they're all trying to invest in the new young managers, dude. That's the thing. They don't want this one-off like thing. If you if today Ten Hag loses, the whole game would have been different. Like I mean, this yeah, season, yeah, sure. this season, the number of positives are one FA Cup victory, <laughs> one. I think, and yeah, to reach to the it. FA Cup final, also going through commentary the way they did, it was the overall picture. Right now is nice, but dark. Yeah, perspective. Perspective uh, changes very quickly. Yeah, yeah. No, I was just uh, seeing the road to the FA Cup final <laughs> before the game, and you saw City they like one nil, two nil, three nil, four one, whatever. Yes. And then you saw United on the other hand, like four three, three three. Two three. What was what? <laughs> yeah. So I was, I was like in fearful before the game even started. Like there is no way we are going to like top this title-winning team again because we lost the final FA Cup final like last year exactly the same way. But yeah, I don't, I don't know what happened. Maybe like the farewell party of Tana actually like won the boys over for one last time and yeah, I, something clicked. I, he probably signs off on the paychecks and like bonuses and shit for the end of the season. He's like, bro, I'm not signing if you're not doing this shit. <laughs> 